This is headgear. It protects your ears. Now, aside from the fact that it is required to wear in matches, and most of your coaches will probably recommend it, what does it really do and why should you care? Even though technically it is worn on your head, it's actually made to protect your ears. Although there are a few exceptions with some newer models, most wrestling headgear does not protect against concussions. If someone has wrestled for a long time and hasn't been using their headgear, they most likely have cauliflower here. Now I know what you're thinking. Do my ears actually turn into cauliflower? Maybe. But most likely not. When you're wrestling, your head is constantly being used as a weapon, a line of defense, and a target. When this is happening, your ears are highly exposed to just taking a massive beating. So what can happen is anytime your ear gets hit, folded, crushed, slammed into a mat, any of the above, it just blows up, fills up with blood, and eventually will harden and turn into cartilage. And most people with cauliflower ear would tell you it's a very painful process, especially when it's still fresh. Oftentimes the way to treat it, well, the only way to treat it is to get it drained, and sometimes that might not even work. So the best way to prevent cauliflower ear is just Rear your headgear, prevent it completely. With wrestling culture, sometimes there's another side of the argument which some people just think it looks cool or tough or gnarly. Cool as you think you might look, if your cauliflower ear gets bad enough, it could actually damage your hearing permanently. Another thing that's very important to know about cauliflower ear is that once it hardens, it's basically irreversible except for by an expensive surgery. And you don't. Know, don't worry, I'm already two steps ahead of you because I know you're wondering, with all these different options for wrestling headgear, which one should I get? Here are a couple of the most common types of headgear. Let's start with this one, shall we? You'll notice with this one here, the straps are made of Velcro. They're very, very easy to adjust, extremely comfortable, this thing is flexible, and this here is going to make it really easy to hear out of. So we normally would recommend these for people at really of any level, but especially for beginners, mainly because of the ease of use and the fact that you can hear really well. One slight downside to these is that Velcro is going to wear out a little bit faster than other types of straps. Now this would be considered a classic style headgear. It's been around for a long time for a good reason. It's time tested and it gets the job done. Something like this is going to be highly durable. These straps are made of a vinyl, which means they're not going to come undone easily. Once you have this adjusted just right, it's not going to move. The downside to that is that it can take quite a bit of patience to dig inside these holes, get the straps out, and adjust it millimeter by millimeter until you have just the perfect fit. Another debate you might have heard with wrestling headgear, chin strap or chin cup. What's the difference? It's really not much difference. In terms of performance and quality, it's all preference. So if you like the feeling of a nice comfy cup on your chin, hey, more power to you. Rather this one going across the bottom there, totally up to you. Finally, some people are wondering what to make of the face mask. Now I know this looks like something that could be used for a Halloween costume and probably has been, but its real purpose is to protect your face when you've gotten a broken nose or some kind of laceration or cut on your face. It's really not meant for everyday use if you don't have an injury already, because I imagine it would be very difficult to see out of and probably uncomfortable. Although, you could argue that it has an intimidation factor. The moral of the story is this, although you may think that cauliflower ear looks cool or tough, I highly recommend avoiding this inconvenience. And the best way to do that is to call up Wrestling Mart, speak to one of our representatives. We have a huge variety of brands, colors, styles, and we've got the staff here with tons of knowledge that can help you find the perfect one for you.